Hey guys, today we're going to look at the Freenove ESP32 starter kit. I got this off Amazon for about $19, and we're going to dive in and see what it's all about. Now the ESP32, it's a lightweight microprocessor similar to the Arduino, but it has a built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi module, so it allows you to create things that are in the internet of things without using a shield like you would need with an Arduino. It is compatible with Arduino, and you can uh, apparently code it using the Arduino IDE, so that's nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and open it up. Actually, let's look at the box first. So, we have our support and our tutorial link. Then we have a breadboard, that's nice. And it lets us know that some chips and modules are plugged in to avoid pin damage. That's always nice whenever they look for uh, preserving the pieces. It's in a pretty standard, simple box. It's not one of those little plastic boxes that you get with the Arduinos, but it's still nice. Right. So we can download the tutorial, and we read the tutorial before unpacking to learn how to remove components from the breadboard or professionals, so we know how to do that. All right, has a little bit of tape right here, so let's go ahead and get that open. We can use a X-Acto blade. Oh, I was wrong. It is in a little plastic thing. That's cool. All right. Here we go. Here's our box. All right, and here's our box. So it does come in the plastic case. I didn't know that it did. That's cool. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. All right. So we met with a support card. An always handy dandy resistor reading card. And a user guide. But that's for later. They give us some fun bubble wrap. There's some ASMR for you. Okay. So inside we have some resistors. These are our standard blue resistors with the five bands. We have a USB-A to USB-C cable. Those are always handy to have around, even though I have like a billion now. Okay, we'll get to that here in a bit. We have a collection of buttons, LEDs, and a diode, it looks like. Cool. We have a variety of jumper cables, always handy to have more. If you guys know of a easier, fun way or simpler way to uh, store these than just chucking them into a bin, let me know. Because I've just been chucking them into a bin. All right. I'll look at that here in a bit. Okay, we have a micro SD card of one gigabyte. I assume that's so we can load programs. I know nothing of the ESP32. I heard about it and I was like, hey, that'd be cool to use and learn how to make stuff. All right. So here we have, it looks like a passive or active buzzer and a passive or active buzzer down here, an LED meter. And this thing is really cool. You see this a lot with uh, this GPIO extension board. You see this a lot with uh, Raspberry Pi things because Raspberry Pi has a large uh, collection of pins that's plugged into it, and they use this board for ease of access. I'm not going to take this off the breadboard. I'm just going to leave it right there. If we look at it, we can see that on each side... Let me use a pointer real quick. We can see that on each side we have a 5 volt and a ground. Then on the other side, we have our 3.3 volt and a ground. So all we need to do is uh, power up this thing, and it gives us power to either power rail that we want. That's cool. Okay. So this is our GPIO. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> this is our uh, ESP32. And I got the one with the camera module because I'm very excited to use that. All right. Then we have our pins here on the side. Let's see if we can focus. There we go. I'm assuming this is our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. Let's read it. Okay, let's bend the camera up a little bit. All right. Cool. We have our reset button and all of our pins. Nifty. And then down here, I'm guessing, is our SD card reader. And here is our USB-C to plug into our computer, along with, I'm assuming, a 5-volt AC adapter, which I did not get, but it's okay, I have some. We have some more bubble wrap. We have a potentiometer. I'm sorry, not a potentiometer. We have, well, actually, yeah, that is a potentiometer. I'm so used to these looking like rotary encoders. But no, this is a potentiometer. That's cool. All the ones I have are little plastic ones, so this is the pro first proper potentiometer that I have. I like that. Then I'm assuming this is a Bluetooth dongle. Now, of course, we'll figure this all out once we go through the tutorial and I start building stuff for the channel. But for now, I mean, it seems like a pretty good deal for, what, $19, $20? Anyway, uh, we'll be building stuff on this channel with this with this little Internet of Things projects, I'm excited to use the camera. I think that's gonna be really fun. I can make a lot of stupid stuff with that. So, uh, that was the ESP32 from Freenove unboxing. If you guys have any questions or comments about the product, uh, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.